Police in Austin, Texas are investigating the fourth mysterious explosion this month. The latest blast last night injured two men in their 20s. Dozens of law enforcement officials blocked off a residential neighborhood overnight as they searched for clues. This morning, nearby residents are being asked to stay inside today. Investigators say it's possible that yesterday's explosion in southwest Austin was triggered by a tripwire. Three earlier package bombs killed two people and injured two others. Police say they believe that last night's explosion is connected. Omar Villafranca is near the scene in Austin. Omar, good morning. Good morning. We're about a quarter mile from yesterday's explosion. It's actually just down this street. There's some vehicles that are starting to show up. There some more investigators are getting here this morning. That's just down the street. Heavy police presence here in this neighborhood. And if you don't believe me, you can see a lot of the lights here. The entrances are all blocked here. No one in, no one out. Residents are on a virtual lockdown and they're doing that because they're still investigating the blast site right now. And they're also trying to make sure that there are no more explosives in this neighborhood. Law enforcement, including federal agents from the FBI and ATF, flooded a normally quiet neighborhood in southwest Austin overnight. Police believe a bomb left on the side of the road exploded, injuring two people. There's a nail in the wound of one of the subjects. It is very possible that this device was a device that was activated by someone either handling, kicking, or coming in contact with a tripwire. That Austin Interim Police Chief Brian Manley said investigators were checking a second item, a backpack, near the scene of the first blast and warned people to stay away from anything suspicious. Pay attention to any suspicious device, whether it be a package, a bag, a backpack. Earlier this month, three package bombs were left on porches in East Austin. All three exploded, killing two people and severely injuring two others. All the victims were black or Hispanic. Assisting Austin police are over 500 federal officials. By Sunday afternoon, 735 suspicious packages were reported. 435 leads were called in and 236 people had been interviewed. A reward for information has risen to over $100,000. Manley held a press conference before Sunday's explosion to directly address whoever is responsible. We hope this person or persons is watching and will reach out to us before anyone else is injured or anyone else is killed. Police say the two men who were injured were on a bike. They were either riding their bikes or they were walking them when that explosion was triggered. That is new. The good news, though, is they are, they are hospitalized and they are in good condition. Investigators are also telling us that the residents in this neighborhood are not going to be able to get out of their homes till at least daylight, the earliest 10 a.m. Gail? Well, hopefully it won't take too long to catch who's ever responsible. Thank you very much, Omar.